Well, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I am not uh, in the fish cave, if you can't tell. I'm up at Bass Pro Shops. So, <clears throat> this video is going to be really fun. Um, I've kind of always wanted to do something like this. We're going to take a bunch of store-bought, big big box brand plastics. We're just going to buy up a couple of bags of, of, of a couple of different things. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and then we're going to remelt them, okay? And then inject them into some of our molds and see what some of these you know colors and in, in these big and these big brands look like in your molds at home um so just kind of a fun little experiment um i'm really looking forward to seeing zoom's june bug color um in a couple of molds at home i think that'd be really cool and in a couple other colors as well um, but i've always loved the zoom june bug whatever they're doing it's better than my june bug so anyway we're gonna go in the store i don't think they let you film in here um so we'll meet you right back whenever we have um our gluttons for punishment all righty y'all let's see what's uh let's see what's in here um first and foremost though the most important item i got at bass pro shops was my cherry coke all right <clears throat> let's let's just draw one out first contender yes Told y'all I wanted some Zoom June Bug. So I think I got two of these. That's the Mag Speed Worm. Let's see what else we have. Oh, some Gamblers. Yeah, this is a great color, Lame Toad. So this is their Easy Swimmer. Well, I gotta tell you folks, it felt weird buying plastics again. Really beautiful bait though. I think I may have done this one actually I know I've done it for some custom orders back in the day. I don't know if I have that color on video or not. Okay, here's some watermelon candy. I've always loved Zoom's watermelon candy. So let's take a look at that one real quick. Yeah, sort of a real real brown water uh, watermelon that they like to use for that one. Let's see, what else? Yeah. There's the other June bug. Yeah, you can tell I wanted a lot of June bugs. So another one of those. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so here's some Bass Pro brand. Uh, they're bluegill, I think it is. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of had to go for the solid colors. You know, if you melt down a bunch of laminates, they just kind of look like doo-doo. So I basically just picked out a few solid colors that I thought would, would be fun to work with, right? For the uh, remelt experiment okay yeah there's some more lame toads just one package of baits really isn't enough to do a whole lot with unless they're these yes the man's original jelly worm paul elias set the record with this but my boy terry scroggins almost had him mm-hmm better remember that paul elias let's see what else is in here ah i actually Allowed myself to spend over seven dollars for some yummies, but I like this color. There it is. It's it's basically it's basically like a watermelon candy. It's just it's a typical Yamamoto color. Not a lot of flake into it. Nothing about it really stands out. It's just very basic, but everyone loves these Cinco's. So anyway, got a couple Yama sinks. And let's see, yeah, and then the other bag of watermelon candies. Okay, so I have a few things laid out here. I have a couple more packages back there in the back, but I've kind of got everything kind of sorted by color and brand, I guess you could say. So these watermelon candy uh, speed crawls are gonna go into this cup. Lane Toad Easy Swimmers here. Junebug Speed Worms here. Grape Jelly Worms uh, in that cup. Um, so I guess we'll just start with, with these over here. We'll just work our way over. Um, you know what, screw that. I'm starting with my June Bug. So that's what we're gonna start with are the June Bug uh, Magnum Speed Worms. And we're gonna transform them from a Speed Worm to a Kicker Tail Worm and a Fat Mag Worm. So sticking with the worm theme for that because I'm sure that's a softer worm plastic. I don't know how these companies, they probably just all use soft stuff 
for everything. That way it tears up and you have to buy more. We don't do that here. We try to use the appropriate blend, of course. Um, but in the event, we're gonna take these worms and make new worms with them. So hope you guys will stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Um, this should be fun. All right, so let's do this. I am pretty excited. Let's uh, yank these out here. Take a look at them. Absolutely love the Zoom June Bug. Yep, that smells like Zoom plastic. I haven't smelled that in a long time. Smells like my uh, childhood right there. Fishing a bunch of Zooms. All right, here we go. Okay. So let's kind of take a look at what they've got here. You can see there's some, eh. Come on, focus. Focus, not gonna do it. You can see there's salt in it. But we're just gonna cut them up into little chunks here, which is what you wanna do whenever you're remelting. And you know, this video, while it's kind of uh, just silly and, and sort of a, uh, um, you know, novelty type video, you know, this is a very common practice and a very valuable practice. You know, if, if you fish a lot of baits at home, um, you, literally, don't throw any of your store-bought stuff away that's laying in the bottom of your boat. You can remelt it, and you only need just a couple of molds, and you can just circulate the same baits for a long time. All right, and in the microwave, we'll start that at like 145 and uh, hopefully that doesn't completely wreck that zoom plastic. Hey, look at that. So there it is. That's what a minute 45 did. Looking pretty good. A little bubbly, but you always usually get some bubbles um, with remail. Oh, that stuff stinks. Woo! Golly. I would hate to be working with that plastic all the time. All right. We're gonna try to stir some of the rest of this in. Probably should have chopped those up, but it looked cool putting the whole worms in there. You know, I even when I started playing with uh, with making my own baits, you know, obviously, you know, I still had a lot of store bought stuff laying around, and I really didn't experiment much with melting it down. Um, you know, I you, you would have thought that when you first start doing this, you take all your old baits out of your tackle box and huh, I want to melt those down and see what the color looks like. I really didn't do that. So, but it kind of tells you, kind of shows you a lot of what their color recipes look like um, by melting it down and using it again. Okay, here we go. This is pretty fun. And so far I have to say, I'm super impressed with the zoom plastic, very low bubble. I haven't needed the vacuum chamber yet. It's holding its color well. Um, doing really well. I'm using a different injector today. Check this out because My old bait junkies injector It sheared off so the pin won't lock in place. So I'm gonna try and fix it uh, but in the meantime, I've uh, um, Golly, I can't even talk in the meantime. I'm working on getting one from somewhere else Okay, here we go Because I think bass tackle is short on their injectors right now. Okay, so there's the kicker tail, sort of like a speed worm. It's a swimming worm where the tail kicks. Then over here we have the fat mag. Okay, drum roll please. Let's see how we did. Yep. Looks like June bug kicker tails. Look at that. I tell you, the old Lure Works Junebug colorant looked a lot like this, but let's take a closer look. You know, really the main difference in how I make it in this one is that it's all square cut glitter. So if we take a look, you can see that square cut goodness there, but beautiful Junebug, man. They, whatever they are using is dynamite. All right, let's look at these mid mags or fat mags, whatever that, whatever it is. Mid mag, fat mag. It's a big finesse worm. Yeah. Beautiful. There's the runner. 
So we actually have enough of this plastic left to run um, an additional mold. So I'll probably make some more kicker tails. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. This is actually working out pretty good so far. Okay, so we're going to stick with the zoom theme real quick, but we're going to move on to these uh, speed crawls here in watermelon candy. And we're going to see what we can do with them. So I'm thinking, thinking we'll probably stick with the theme and run a few crawls and creatures of our own um, using this stuff here. So just going to dump them in. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Looking good. And a little bit of heat stabilizer just to preserve. Okay. And uh, we'll pop that in for two minutes and see what becomes of it. There's less plastic in this. So here's a couple crawls. All right. We'll try to do these AI stingers real quick. Yeah, that we might have enough for one more of these two cavity crawls here. Yeah, that's going to be about it. It's definitely not quite as much of this stuff. Those speed worms, those big ones, you know, that's a lot of plastic. Those are huge worms, but these were a lot smaller baits, so a little bit less plastic. Okay, let's look at the crawls here. Yeah, and I want you guys to notice how brown um they're they're uh watermelon here that see that's more of a green pumpkin colorant in my opinion but yet they call it watermelon candy so uh kind of interesting there a really dark kind of black grape purple um it's definitely not a light purple it's a very dark very dark purple yeah so that's what it looks like in the uh, old bass tackle 709 crawl now let's look at the um, angling AI stingers real fast. Let me get these. Ah, wrong side there. Let's see. It's amazing how sometimes the same mold, even though it's the same mold, it won't line up. That's how precise those pins are. All right. Let's get this one out. Yeah. Looking good there. Yep, yeah, so that is... Zoom baits, watermelon candy. Um, Reimagined in a few other shapes. So next up are the Easy Swimmers and Lane Toad. And this is a great bait. I almost hate to even mess these up and melt them down. But we're going to do it. Ugh. Yep. And anyone that's ever fished Gambler Lures knows that my shop is about to s smell like garlic. Big time. So... Yeah, really pretty color there. Nice watermelon color. So, we're going to, again, kind of chop these up a little bit. Those crawls earlier were kind of small and had lots of appendages. So, I just, I didn't need to chop them up as much. But, a little bit thicker bait like this never hurts. And that just helps them cook a little bit better. Because we're really, really trying not to scorch any of these. So... So basically, we're going to take this 5-inch jerk bait here, or swim bait, and turn it into our 5-inch swim bait. I tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this reheated very well, very few bubbles. Um, definitely smells like garlic out here, which is a lot more pleasant than, uh, than, than the last stuff. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. And it looks like there's a... Uh, let me see... Kind of looks like there's some salt in that. Which I don't know why they would put salt in the Easy Swimmer. A lot of people throw that on top. Well, actually, I probably do know why they put salt in it. All right, we're going to reheat this a little bit more, and uh, then we're ready to go. Okay, here we go. This is my custom swim bait mold here. And uh, I think it's going to look really good um, in, in this plastic. Um because it's already a swim bait color. So, and Lane Toad is an, is an exceptional color. Gambler has some of my favorite colors from a big, big box production company. They just, they seem to really, really think out their colors well, particular, particularly for Florida fishing. 
And some of their baits too are just incredible. I mean, the Easy Swimmers are amazing. The Why Not is amazing. The Burner Crawl is amazing. The Burner Worm has caught me some good fish. They uh, they, they do a great job. They're probably they're probably my favorite uh, favorite of, of the big companies. Um, is just kind of from a color and innovation standpoint. Well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There's the whole lot of them with the original up front. Man, it's amazing how much softer these are since they've been remelted and how firmed up and cured that one is. Major difference. So, anyway, let's uh, move on to the uh, Yamamoto's. There it is. Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. I wonder if they actually do custom orders. Hmm. Um, there it is. There's the $8 bag of Cinco's. And they really are the original monster as far as this style of worm goes. Still, still uh, revered by many as unbeaten. So, we're going to melt them down. And guess what we're going to make with them? Any guesses? You guessed it. Punch bugs. We're not even going to reproduce a worm out of it because that's too predictable. Okay, here we go. Since we don't have a lot of this, because I was only willing to buy one bag, we're gonna have to angle it up so that we can try to get the most out of it. Ooh, yeah, that didn't sound too good. Hopefully we even have enough to do a punch bug mold. We, we may be uh, remelting this and shooting a different mold, injecting a completely different mold here. Yeah, I have no idea if that's gonna work or not. Well, so it surprisingly did okay, but as you can see, it did not fill in all the little, uh, all the little um, appendages there and, and legs and stuff. Probably just I didn't have enough plastic left to really force force that last little bit. But the color looks uh, actually held a uh, little bit of air bubbles up there. But the the color actually held pretty true. So. I mean, this is basically this is basically a watermelon candy, and because this is true Yamamoto Cinco plastic, golly, this stuff is soft. Let me tell you. Yeah, it's hard to even describe how soft this stuff is, and the salt content, as you guys know. I mean, look at that. I'll I'll bet these are 35% salt. I mean, they. They really salt the heck out of their Cinco's, and, and a lot of people argue that that's what makes them so good. So, yeah. Those were Yamamoto Cinco's like three minutes ago. Pretty wild. Okay, so moving right along, we're going to go to some more stick worms here. Now, you can't call this one the Cinco because it's not the original Yamamoto. It's the Sticko. So, uh, this is a bluegill color, I think. Yeah, bluegill. So being that we took the Yamamoto's and did not, um, in return, make more stick worms with them, we're going to make, you guessed it, jerk baits. Okay, so here's what it looks like cleaned up. Alrighty. And we've made this one before on this channel when I made bluegill. Uh, I did a color a little over a year ago, and I did this and bluegill flash. So bluegill is what you're seeing here. Bluegill flash is just this as a laminate, I believe with like a white pearl bottom or something. It's, it's been a long time. So I don't know if I can get all three of these. Nope, I'm gonna have to stop it too. Okay, all right. This injector doesn't have the capacity of the one that I broke, but the one that I'm getting is gonna be, oh, it's gonna be a uh, 10 ouncer, which is gonna get the job done. Believe you me. So I'm moving up from nine ounces on the old bait junkies to a uh, 10 ounce. And if I like it, I'll probably grab some more of them. So anyway, meet you right back. Okay, and there is all eight of them right there. There you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, it's time for the final round. We're gonna take these ginormous jelly worms here 12 inch worm and we're gonna shrink them up a little bit and turn them into nine inch worms but i mean good lord and i love ah, that they actually smell like grape drink oh yeah these are tough and want to know why 
No salt in them. No salt to weaken them. Yeah. I mean, that is ugh, a tough worm. All right, that is a ton of plastic. I mean, golly, you buy a bag of those, you, you've got, you got a lot of plastic in that bag. We're going to fire it up and uh, finish this one out, you guys. I tell you, I am impressed. That is some high-quality plastic, very little bubbles. It's holding its color well. Yeah, let's make some stuff with it. Let me uh, zoom out here and let's see what we can get. That was like a full measuring cup of plastic, by the way. So whenever you buy a bag of jelly worms, it drank an entire cup of Plastisol. All right, looking good, looking good. Sort of, so it's sort of like a white black grape. In fact, it's probably just grape. And in fact, it's probably, you could probably do this with just Lureworks purple. So, yep, from one beautiful purple worm to the next. Look at that. That is what man's jelly worm. Let's see, what color was this exactly? Let me find the package. This was, okay, so this is their black grape. To me, it's a little lighter than black grape, but uh, you can call it whatever you want. Beautiful though. That might be my favorite, to be honest. Okay, a few bonus baits here. We've got the uh, Gambler. Uh, Lane Toad and the Zoom June Bug mix back up. So we're just going to see if we can at least get a little bit of laminate out of it. I'm not going to tell you what this bait is until we're done. I doubt I'm going to get both of these molds. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. That's not happening, but we got one. Okay. Let's see how that'll look. Might look weird, might look good. The June Bug is the top color in this example, and the Lane Toad is the bottom. Okay, da 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 da, we made, you guessed it, froggies. And they're really not that bad. I love what happened with the tails. Zoom June Bug laminated with Gambler Lane Toad. And I have to say, these are pretty smoking. Look at this. That's a real color, you guys. There ain't nothing wrong with that, other than the fact that it's way too soft plastic for a frog. That's amazing. Look at that. A little bonus bait. Yeah, I'm going to toss those in my old tackle box. Y'all want to see the ugliest thing in the world? You guessed it. A little bit of each. We're going to melt it down and uh, melt all these colors together and it's gonna look yucky, but we gotta do it. Well, it's not quite Yamamoto, but that ain't bad. It's actually, this was probably the best bait to make this trash color in, <laughs> is a stick worm. That's actually really not bad. I've seen way worse come out of just mixing a bunch of stuff together, so. Definitely not as pretty as those Yamamoto's were in that bag, but uh, that ain't bad. Okay, so there's what we wound up with. Contrast that to what we started with. That's really not bad. Plus, there's some plastic left over. Not a whole lot, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, a, a really fun exercise. I'm curious, as always, which one was your favorite? Such a weird feeling, you know, making all those baits today, having not actually done any of the color creation myself. I kind of feel like I cheated, you know, but uh, no, nah, if there's a lesson to take from the day, don't throw away your stuff that you buy from the store. Um, you know, if, if you go through a whole bag of worms in a day, hey, get your worm mold, remelt them. You know, as you, as, as you just saw, you can take those uh, big box brands and remelt them down and pretty much keep recycling them. You can make beautiful things with it. I mean, all of those colors remelted really well and the results that I got from them um, are really, really nice. So, yeah, yeah, you know, if you go through two bags of speed worms in a day, remelt them into something else, you know, prolong the life of it, so to speak. So, anyway, please shoot me lots of comments down below. Um, 
again as always thank you guys so much for watching your support helps keep this channel going um, so anything you can do to share the channel share the videos with your fishing buddies friends family whoever girlfriend wife um, I'm always grateful so with that said we're gonna sign out of here and uh, until the next video we'll catch you next time